Greetings fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers and here it is, the new starter set for Warhammer Age of Sigma, the fantasy miniatures game. It's called Soul Wars, the ultimate Warhammer Age of Sigma boxed set, according to Games Workshop. Let's find out if they're right. And actually, it's the first thing you notice is that it's a good chunky weight. It's quite a heavy box, which is pleasing. And here's the back, and you can see there's actually quite a lot in this box. I don't believe I'm about to say this, but this is pretty damn good value. You get a whole lot of the armoured knight fellows, basically space marines in a fantasy world, and you get a whole bunch of these fantastic green ghoulie ghosties, which particularly drew me into this set. I really like these ghosts. I think they've got a lot of personality, and that's what I like in my games a bit of character to the miniatures. So let's unbox it together and see what you get inside the Age of Sigma starter set. First let's rip off that shrink wrap shall we? Ah the joy of taking the shrink wrap off a new game. There's really nothing like it. Ah there we go. And it's a very attractive box I have to say. This is very much done in the style of the last Warhammer 40,000 set and then it has this sort of flimsy kind of cover that slides off. I'm not really crazy about that, but I suppose it saves them a few bucks so they can put a couple of extra miniatures in maybe. And then you have this kind of thing inside. Nice artwork here, it really gets you into the mood. Big battle between strange griffin creatures and armoured knights against horrible ghosts. Great stuff. Now, how does this work? This lifts out and Let's look, it's even printed on the back. And these will be your miniatures. Here they are. A bit of foam in there. Lots of bases. And what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six small sprues, half size sprues, and two large sprues. So, lots and lots of building and painting in there, and I'm hoping to take you all through uh, the process of putting together and painting this set. I think it'll be quite fun, and then we're going to play some games together. And of course, here's the thing that's giving most of the weight to the box, and it's a big hardcover copy of the rules. And I particularly like the way Games Workshop are doing this these days. They did it with the last Warhammer 40,000 set, and here they've done it. For this, and I just think it's great because you don't have to buy a separate book, and certainly it's a selling point for me. And here it is. And another point that we should make that is great is that there's a woman on the cover. Oh my god! Unbelievable! They've actually put a woman on the cover of uh, an important Games Workshop product. I just think that's fantastic. Um, and it's good to see more women in, well, gaming in general, of course, but it's great to see it in a mainstream, relatively mainstream game like Warhammer. Really, really good stuff. And also, it gives some humanity to these armoured knights, which are pretty over the top, let's face it, but she's got a helmet off and you actually see that it's a person there, which I think makes a difference. So, I'll just quickly flip through this lovely book. And of course, the quality you've come to expect from... Games Workshop when it comes to their printed materials, beautiful design, photos, artwork. My goodness, there's a lot of reading there, a lot of fluff, a lot of background material. Wow, pretty good. I think, where do the rules start? They start there. So there's a few pages of rules. That's, that's about it, really. That's about the rules. And then all this is background stuff. Very impressive. Then we've got Battle for Glim's Forge. Oh, wow, well, what do we have here? Let's have a look inside. Get that shrink wrap off. Well, a few things here. We've got this nice colour booklet. The Soul Wars. Uh, 
And here's the description of our forces that come in the starter set. Lots of background material, really good, clear photos of the painted miniatures, which is great to use as a guideline. And here's the descriptions of the night haunts. Oh, there you go, there's no actual rules stuff in there, it's all background stuff, a bit of pitch battle profiles there. That's good. Here's the core rules. There's a separate little book for just the core rules, which I presume are in the hardcover as well. And I've actually summarised these, so I might make that available so you can get all this on one sheet. Because that's available as a PDF. You can download that online. A start here book. Wow, they've really pulled out the stops on this one, haven't they? It's really impressive. So... Tells you about the Age of Sigma. I still miss the old world, of course, but, you know, I grew up with it. Start playing. There you go. Then we've got Soul Wars. This is obviously the book for helping you construct it all. And there's a lot of building to be done. I've got a busy few weekends putting all this together. Wow. All on glossy paper, all full colour. Very impressive stuff. Now this is something that is great to see and wow, certainly past time are these great reference cards for the units and the amazing thing is look there's actually pictures of the units on there, not illustrations, not headshots or anything like that, actual pictures of the miniatures. That is so good to see, so useful. You know this doesn't need redesigning, This oh, look it's got a full colour picture on the other side. These are just great. You can finally just put these in front of you and play the game. I don't know what they're going to do for other units, whether when you buy the units you get these or you have to download them or anything. But these are certainly lovely. I wish they'd make them available for all their units. Look at those. Oh, what's this? This, is, oh, this one's a fold-out. Look at the rules. That is just crazy. That I've never seen so many rules for one unit in my life. Then again, this is Warhammer. Lots of extra exceptions and stuff to remember. It's going to be very interesting playing it. And oh, a few things down the bottom under the cardboard. There's some nice ghostly clear kind of bluish dice. They're yeah, very nice. There's a sample chapter from Soul Wars the book. Not really into Warhammer reading, but there you go. Some people might enjoy that. Next steps. Yes, please go and buy more stuff from us. Now, I always complain about Games Workshop prices, but I do admit they have done these uh, press fit together uh, boxes, which are much cheaper, and in fact, almost reasonably priced, which is just great to see. Uh, the normal box sets are still ridiculously priced, especially down here in New Zealand, and um, especially for individual figures. But these easy to put together sets are a pretty good value. And finally, we have a tiny little transfer sheet and a little clear ruler, which is very nice. Give me a tape measure any day, but it's nice of them to put this in. Now, of course, the miniatures are the usual excellent Games Workshop quality. It's great detail and a lot to put together, but hopefully I'll be bringing you some more videos in future on putting these together, painting them. And then what I'd like to do is a series of videos actually playing the games in Soul Wars and seeing what they're like and I'm hoping to do that from some different perspectives so stay tuned for that and we'll go closer and in more detail into the world of Warhammer Age of Sigma Soul Wars and see what it's like. Will this be the start of a new interest in this flagship fantasy miniatures game by the huge games workshop or will I find it disappointing? I don't know it's going to be interesting to see. Another thing I picked up was this Night Haunt Tormented Spirits set. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be available anymore, which I find a bit strange because you could get the Khan Wraith and these spirits and these mounted skeletons all in one set for a relatively reasonable price, still quite expensive. Now they seem to only sell these individually and they add up to a hell of a lot more than I got this set for. In fact, this Khan Wraith alone is 27 New Zealand dollars. And if you have a look at it, it's just this single sprue. Yep, $27 for that. Well, 
quite pricey but luckily I managed to get a set of this on eBay and this should bulk out my spirit army a little bit because I think the points cost of the ghost army was a little less than that of the armored knights what are they called stormcast eternals or something silly so that's it folks Warhammer Soul Wars I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and I hope you enjoyed the content to come on Warhammer Soul Wars. That's all coming up on the Esoteric Order of Gamers. Orderofgamers.com. Thanks very much for watching. We're on Patreon if you choose to support me. I really appreciate it. See you next time.